to do a little creek fishing today. Boy, it don't look too terribly bad. This is new, they poured some. I wonder if the river did this, poured some. This used to be all mud. Hmm. That's pretty cool. It's funny how these rivers are always changing. Oh yeah, they don't look bad. Bought me some hip waders I'm trying out today. Make sure they don't leak. Uh, water's still a little high. No, well, they're not leaking so far. <laughs> huh. my mind which direction I want to fish. I think I'll go downstream. There's still a little bit too high. There's no holes for them to, well, I can't see the holes is one main reason. I'll get right up on them. Another thing you gotta watch out for is when the river's been high like this, there's a lot of false sand dunes. It's, it's mud or silt with a layer of sand on top. When you step in it, it's possible you can go in up to your neck. So you always got to be careful out here. Always watch your footing. You can keep your eyes on the water, but also keep your eyes underneath them. See right there, I just sunk down to my knees. Got to be careful. Well, I had a nibble, but I didn't hit too many uh, sand sinkholes, man. After a river's been high like this, it's just too many sinkholes. You can hit places where a log's underneath the sand, and it might be a deep hole on the other side of it. I didn't hit a couple of them where I didn't sunk down almost to the, where my uh, groin is. And when I hit the second one like that, it's time to call it quits. In a couple of days, the sand will settle and fill them up, but yeah, too dangerous. 